Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Arnavi Mitra and I am a specialist programmer at Infosys. And this video is going to be my fifth video of the Power Programmer's previous year questions. So if you haven't watched my previous four videos where I have discussed uh, around four questions, uh, I would suggest you go and first check those questions and then come for this question. So let's move for the question. So the question saying uh, we need to find the sum of product of primes in a uh, given range. So you have n ranges and ith range is from low of i to high of i and you need to create an array b of length n. However, b of i can only be any prime such that uh, the b of i is within that range. So we will give uh, a number n and then n ranges meaning uh, we will provide a low and high. So and we need to find all the prime number within that range and we can put uh, in the ith position of b uh, we can put those uh, prime. So as we know we, uh, there can be multiple ways to create b yeah. So suppose there are two or three prime numbers within range so in the suppose in the first place uh, in the range there are two or uh, suppose three prime numbers so in the first place there can be three uh, three elements we can uh, present uh, i mean we can put so there will be multiple ways to create b uh, it is uh, given that score of array is multiplication of all the values in it okay so suppose we have an array which have five elements so score of that array is multiplication of those five elements your task is to find the sum of score of all possible unique permutation of b meaning we need to find all the possible permutation of b and then we need to find uh, their sum i mean uh, all the sum of all the uh, their codes uh, scores okay so they have given that value of n will be within the range of 10 to the power 5 and low and high uh, higher range in the 10 to the power 6 okay let's go and check some examples so that it will be clear for us so first example n value is 2 low of 1 meaning the first element uh, low is 1 high is 3 so in the first position we can put all the primes situated in between 1 to 3 and they have clearly mentioned that uh, element can be less than equal to low and less than equal to uh, sorry greater than equal to low and less than equal to 3 so um, we uh, the range is fine and uh, so we can take 2 and 3 as well because in the range of 1 and 3 we have 2 prime numbers that is 2 and 3 and the second range is low uh, the range is from 2 to uh, sorry from 3 to 5 so in the second position we can put all the uh, prime numbers present in between 3 to 5 and we know that in between 3 to 5 uh, there are 3, 4, 5 and 3 and 5 are the only primes. So let's check whatever uh, whatever combination we can have. So obviously first position we can place 2 and suppose in the second position we can place 3. This is one combination. Then suppose we uh, have 2 as fixed. In the second position, we can also put 5. So, 2, 3 and 2, 5 are one, uh, two valid combinations starting with 2. Now, suppose we replace this uh, 2 as 3. So, we can have 3, 3 and 3, 5. So, I hope this part is clear. So, for every um, uh, ith position, we will be given one range and we can put all the prime numbers present. Uh, within that range to make the unique permutations like uh, for this uh, first example given range we have four valid uh, combination so now uh, score of uh, we need to ha have the sum of score of each uh, combination so if we take two and three their score is uh, meaning the product of two and three is six then 2, 5 is 10, 3, 3 is 9 and 3, 5 is 15. So 6 plus 10 plus 9 plus 15 is 40. So for the first one, our output is 40. I hope the question is clear to you. So let's quickly check the second uh, 
example here input is 3 so we will be given 3 ranges so for the first one we have 1 to 3 second range is 3 to 3 and the final range is uh, 5 to 10 so again from 1 to 3 we have 2 uh, prime that is 2 and 3. Now in the uh, second range 3 to 3 there we have only one number that is 3 and from 5 to 10 we have 5 and 7. So similarly we have this 10 combination if we stick to 2 in the second position we have not much uh, choice so we have only 3 then 2, 3, 5 or 237 or 335 337 so if we, i take this sum so it will be like 30 plus 42 plus 45 plus 63 that is 180 now this is uh, something done now let's check about the brute force solution like what can be our solution so brute force solution will be checked for the prime number so at first we need to find the prime numbers of each range and range and then we need to find the unique permutation. But let's check the constants if, if this is possible. So if we keep on checking uh, prime and try to uh, make the uh, combination. So value of n is only 10 to the power 4. Now if we try to search from low to high and at max suppose it has 10 to the power 6 numbers. So we can't complete it within 10 to the power 8. So, we surely we can't go with brute force solution. Now, if uh, by the checking constant, how can I uh, say like we can't go? If you have any doubt, I would suggest go and check my video where I have mentioned how you can determine the time complexity with checking constants only. Then only you will get to know that uh, the, uh, our this uh, brute force solution will not work. So let's move and do some uh, checks. So I have written the first example here. 2 into 3 plus 2 into 5 plus 3 into 3 plus 3 into 5. We have done this only, right? Now we can write this as like this. 2 into 3 plus 5 plus 3 into 3 plus 5. Or we can write like this. 2 plus 3 into 3 plus 5. This is simple, some simple mathematics, right? So what I have taken instead of taking some of the uh, products we can do the product of sum of each range. So uh, the, this will also give the same result and I have derived uh, with taking one simple example and I hope this is uh, very much clear. And I guess from now he, you have got the idea like what to do. So we can take the sum of the prime numbers in the range and then simply uh, do a product of all the sum of prime in that range. Now uh, there should be a question like how to get the sum. So this is clear right we need sum of uh, primes for particular range and then we need to multiply their sum. And how to get the sum. This is not like we will take the range and go to uh, suppose we have some uh, array and go to that array and try for uh, checking prime numbers and find this. We won't do it. We can further optimize it. So we have got the formula and then we will further optimize it. So before moving ahead, I would want to say this is also an application of C algorithm. As I mentioned, I mentioned almost every video that uh, in Infosys uh, Power Programmer, they mainly give at least one question from C algorithm. So you should be prepared with the C algorithm. And I have explained the C algorithm, how to work with it in my previous video. So I would suggest first go and check that video. You will understand how we can get the prime numbers for, for the range. So suppose we have uh, 50 so we can uh, take an array from 1 to 50 and we can get all the numbers which are prime in that range now how we will uh, maintain this sum this is the next question so i have prepared okay so here uh, i have prepared one example so in uh, we can maintain one uh, array 
where uh, like in each index we will have uh, the sum of prime number present uh, from the uh, first to till that. For example, in uh, if the index is 1, I didn't take from 0th index, I have just maintained one simply uh, simple table kind of thing. So at 1, there is uh, from beginning, there is no prime number because 1 is not a prime number. So we, our uh, sum will be 0. At 2, our sum will be 2 because 2 is the one uh, first prime number. At 3, we have the sum as 5 because 3 is... Uh, another one prime number so 2 plus 3 that is 5 so at index 4 we have the sum 5 because no new prime is added at index 5 we will add 5 more so we have some 10 at 6 will be it will be same at the index 7 it will be 17 and it will continue till uh, 10 because we till then we have no new uh, prime maybe at the index 11 we can have add another 11 to it so suppose we have the range from 7 to 2 and we need the sum of all the primes in present in from 7 to 10. So what we will do, we will we'll take the value at present at index 10 that is 17 and, and subtract the value present at index 6 that is 10. So 17 minus 10 is 7 because in uh, from 7 to 10 there is only one prime present. So suppose we are taking from 4 to 7, we will... Uh, do what thing at uh, 7 we have 17 at 3 we have 5 so we will just uh, uh, subtract uh, 5 from 17 we have 12 because we have 5 and 7 these two prime number present here okay so I guess now the question is very much simple we will maintain uh, first we will work on sieve algorithm then based on that we will maintain this array that will have the sum of uh, primes till that index and then uh, based on the uh, range we are getting we will uh, find the uh, sum of uh, primes uh, for that range and we will simply multiply the result and return. So the question is very simple and this time I am not coding it because uh, this is very much simple and I have already coded sieve algorithm in previous uh, videos uh, you can check the reference from there you, you can uh, do the coding by yourself so I would suggest do the code and send me in my telegram link also you can uh, uh, tell in the comment section and I will check your code and uh, other than that I want to uh, share that I have many videos I have complete power programmers preparation guide series here I have videos on uh, how to prepare specialist programmer preparation sheet, interview preparation sheet, uh, all your doubts, answered all your doubts, last year question analysis, etc. So you can just go to my channel and check those videos. And if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.